so this is Nikki's the one. This video, um, it's gonna be a combination of things. So I just want y'all to just sit back and watch it and thumbs up all of that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, so what I will be demonstrating in this video is, um, it's this girl on TikTok and she has a makeup hack. Everybody has been doing it and I'm here to test it out. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one and I just lightly dab it all over my face, not too much. Then take some setting spray, it could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then and just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is gonna look and it's gonna stay on 24 seven and it's not gonna crease. So this, this is supposed to be the hack to make sure makeup lasts all day. That's what I will be doing just so you know, and I'm not talking about going back to the makeup, but I'm actually talking about what this video is going to be about. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. What I'm going to be talking about um, in this video is how to get free shit. Like seriously. Um, a lot of people join YouTube for different reasons originally i had like this natural hair care um channel i forgot even what it was named it was so long ago but i was mainly talking about um natural hair care type stuff because i was transitioning with my hair from having a perm to a um, natural so i slowly cut it off i didn't do the big chop um, I slowly cut off the ends three inches and then, you know, a few inches here, a few inches there. And I wanted to um, do videos on it. And then I decided to revamp what my channel was going to be about and made a new page. So some people join this um, YouTube because they want fame. Some people join because they want money, free stuff. And some people join because, um, you know, it's their outlet and it's their hobby. Originally, I joined because it was just something to do. You wasn't making money back then um, like that. And I always knew that I wanted to grow a following. I wanted to build a brand. I wanted to, you know, just, just be not famous, but have a big following that's honestly what i wanted to do i wanted to inform people about like hacks and things that i learned along the way i wanted to record so that i can look back on my life and you know see like the changes that i've made throughout my life and i really just like doing it like my favorite part is editing but on my journey especially recently i would say within the past six months I've just been receiving so much free stuff. <laughs> like, people that, like, don't know too much about the YouTube. Like, you can watch it and see, oh, you know, she gets that because she has a lot of followers. Or she gets that. She gets paid for that. So, you know, she's not telling the truth. Like, the people in my life, they know <laughs> I'm a real girl, okay? And they know the behind the scenes of the YouTube life. Like, I get free stuff. And I'm going to tell you how I get free stuff. So, it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> and, like, as you can see, I don't have thousands and thousands or millions of, of subscribers. So, it's nothing for me to really hide or keep from the public because what am I gaining <laughs> from it nothing um so I just felt like it, it would be my due diligence to talk about it and um sorry to um basically talk about it and so you can get free stuff if you if you have a good following on when 
um, social media, any one of your platforms, or if you are a YouTuber, you really don't have a lot of subscribers like that or a lot of watch time, you still want to figure out how to break in, you know, because a lot of these people, you know, they, they are on the same page as you if you're a small YouTuber. Like, it's just that one video that gets them to pop and then they have all these you know, subscribers, followers, last time they're getting paid and all of that good stuff. People sending them emails back to back for free stuff. But before the end, like they, they weren't getting views. They'll tell you themselves, they wasn't getting views. They didn't have a lot of followers like that. They just had to keep believing in themselves and keep doing the videos and be consistent. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna give you the tips. I'm gonna give you the secrets behind the scenes of how to get free stuff period <laughs> so um it ain't it's not really even an order to this i'm just gonna throw out stuff that is really important to get free stuff so um one of the things that i would say is tag tag until you can't tag no more honey tag 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 so you want to be consistent with your tags so, how they gonna find you if you don't tag this? Whether you on um, social media or um, if you are on YouTube, you have to tag. Like, if you're trying to get free hair, tag hair reviewer, tag human hair. Even if you don't, like say I wanna do a uh, and I'm just throwing a name out. It's not nothing. But say you want to do a, a review on Beauty Forever Hair. So what you're going to tag is Beauty Forever Hair. Beauty Forever Hair Reviewer. Hair Review for Beauty Forever Hair. And then you can name some other hair companies that you like and that you're interested in reviewing. As well as other ones that you're not. You know what I mean? Like people, that's how they find hair reviewers is because they put in hair reviewers, you know? Um, so that's what you're gonna put in your tags, whether it be a photo, a video, um, or if you are on YouTube, like you're going to tag the mess out your video because you want them to find you if they're looking for people to review the hair um, for that product. Um, another thing is you can start watching videos of people within your same bracket or whatever or close to the same bracket so say i got a thousand subscribers i'm going to look at people from 500 subscribers to up to 10,000 subscribers and if they're reviewing some hair and they got sent some hair i want to look at their video interact with their video because you want to show support within the community comment like the video watch the video and see what company sent them hair and then what you do is you reach out to that hair company. You want to do outreach. So this is doing your research, looking at the videos, looking at the people who got sent hair videos within your bracket, within your range. And then you are going to reach out proactively to these companies. Like I honestly, it was a day that I just said, you know what? I'm going to reach out to 10 different companies and it was a lot of people responding back. No, thank you. We'll keep you on our, our list if we are looking for people. We're currently not looking for people. Like, I got told no a lot of times. But you got to understand, they're, out of all of those no's, somebody's going to say yes. And that is the honest to God truth. Somebody's going to say yes. So, um, this is Sephora and um, Coco. Coco, come on. Okay, I don't know why it's not focusing, but whatever. It's cacao deep. But anyways, um, number 55 for the Sephora brand 10-hour wear perfection foundation. That's the name of this. But anyways, um, so out of all those notes, somebody's going to say yes. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. And that's another thing. Be consistent. If you're trying to get hair, and I don't know, I'm saying hair because this is what I mainly do, hair, beauty stuff. So that's why I'm giving that as an example. If you do hair, if you wanna get, not if you do it, but if you wanna get free hair, you have to be consistent with your videos. Like you can't wanna do 
hair reviews and you doing techie stuff and you doing um gaming stuff like it has to like make sense for the people that are giving you free shit like it doesn't make sense for them to send you free products and your channel has nothing to do or your page has nothing to do with their product like it doesn't fit it doesn't make sense so help them make sense of why they're putting you on a PR list, why they are giving you free items because nothing is free, honey. Like nothing is free. Okay. Nothing is done without intention. Nothing. <laughs> like Salon CD, nothing, honey. So, you know, it has to make sense for them. It has to make sense for you. Make sure that whatever you're trying to get for free, that you are posting consistently about that. So for instance, like I said, if I want to get free hair, I want to make consistent videos about hair reviews. I want to review hair, you know, and then make sure that I'm tagging it. I'm being consistent. I'm doing my outreach. I'm being proactive. I'm reaching out to these companies. I get myself these goals. I all these people that are saying no, somebody's going to say yes, and you're going to get that email. That's the last thing that I want to say. You want to make sure like that you have contact information there. Like plug, you want to make sure that you have contact information there because you might have all of these videos that have they're just awesome or whatever. They have everything in the description box, but you have that one video that the the people that are the um hair people, like the hair vendors are trying are seeing your video on, discovering your video on it, but you don't have any contact information. You think they're gonna write a comment and you may or may not find it? No, they're not gonna do all this searching just to find your contact information. Keep it consistent. Keep that description box there, you know, in, for the YouTube, if you're a video, like if you do YouTube videos, keep that information in your description box. Always give it an e email, business inquiries, PR inquiries, you can even put that in your description for, in your bio for Instagram. PR inquiries, um, contact, business inquiries, contact, everybody's doing it. So if you want to do anything business related, you know that this is how you contact me via email. Keep that same email. Be consistent with it. And for the plug, honey, if y'all want to send me anything, y'all know like, Small business owners, even if you just want to send a piece of candy, a card, a letter, anything, anything, just send me, you know, send it to me. I have a new P.O. Box, P.O. Box 611, created on the way 60417, Nikki's the one, Nikki, whatever you want to send as with my name, um, but that's my P.O. Box, like, I'll put that in the description below, like, make it easy for them to send this stuff over to you, you know, make it easy. And you know, this is just for free stuff. Like once you start getting to different levels, like um, subscribe accounts and things like that, you have to get your coins, sis, because a lot of these companies are making, are um, taking advantage of us. Because honestly, um, they're making quadruple if not more money off of us because we take the time to customize the wigs do the recording edit the recording then we're selling the wigs like all of you ladies love the hair buying the hair paying double what they pay for it if not triple what they pay for it with the vendors and all they're giving you is free free hair that cost them little to no money. Like, when you get to different levels, charge. Tax them. Because you'll never get your time back that you used to create that product to sell for them. Which is, in turn, making them so much money that you're not getting paid on. It. Like, you giving them, you know, copyrights to this video that is selling their hair and that's it's not even a time left on it you know so they have your video unlimited they're selling their products unlimited for an unlimited amount of time but you didn't even get paid for it you just got a free product like that don't even make sense so once you get to certain levels make sure that you tax period know your worth know that your time that time is money and 
this is just simply for you being new to this influencer slash YouTube world and you just want to get free stuff for right now. But know that once you get up in the levels and stuff, you, you need to start taxing. Period. Tax. Tax. Just letting you guys know, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I do pretty well for my makeup. But I'm not professional. Just letting you guys know. Because I know a lot of people love to critique. And be very like critiquey. <laughs> critiquey, if that's even a word. Um, yeah, but this is about how to get free stuff. If you have any other tips that you would like to provide that I missed, always, definitely, as always, leave it in the comments down below. Let's start a discussion, okay? Because, you know, honey, like, you girl. I like free stuff. Everybody likes free 99 stuff, you know? Everybody loves free stuff. And I feel like I'm very much so qualified because I've been getting a lot of free stuff. I've been getting printers, 4 one printers, Keurig, um, coffee makers, um, free subscription boxes with a lot of, like, beauty products in there um free teas with sipsy subscription boxes um beauty makeup products every month like food products um hair products contacts for free color contacts that i this is stuff that i normally would buy myself like especially when it comes to the beauty and hair stuff i would buy this stuff myself so for me to be getting this stuff for free Shorty gotta be doing something right, something right. So I'm just trying to share the knowledge so that we all can be on this bandwagon, okay? Bandwagon. <laughs> you know, a lot of people want to keep stuff on a low low. You know, they want to keep stuff on a low low. But I'm here to tell it all because it's the room for everybody to get their coins, everybody to get what they need to get out here. And I ain't no cock block. <laughs> But I'm not no blocker, because what's meant for you is for you. What's meant for me will always be for me. No one can ever block that, okay? Okay, so just know that, always. So if you like this video, definitely go ahead and thumbs up. Um, I just wanted to cover, you know, what I know thus far on receiving free stuff. And I just had to share it with you guys because what's the point of keeping it to myself? Like, it's not my duty to please that booty. No, <laughs> it's my duty to inform y'all, inform the people, all the people. So this is my finished look. This is like super like I don't even care. I'm I'm glowed up and I'm about to go. Like it's very chic. It's a very chic look. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too lengthy, um, but I just had to get on my hair, um, do a little TikTok thing, see if the little, um, see if the makeup hat, makeup hack work, and just let you guys know what I know about this free free stuff. Getting on that PR list, cause we we trying to we trying to. We trying to get on Fenty Beauty, honey. We trying to get on Max PR, honey. We trying to get on Morphe. Like, we trying to get on all of these PRs, you know. So, if we can help each other clamp to the top, why not? Okay? So, uh, that was just what I have for you guys. If you have any other tips or anything that you want me to show or to let you guys know about insider tips on this 
YouTube life or whatever, let me know. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.